Hello, I'm Mark Houlihan for Speedway Motors, and I'm in the Vibrant Performance booth today with Kyle Hayatali, one of their test engineers, and we're gonna talk about fuel system filtration. Yeah, so for 2024, new, we have uh, our HD power filters. Okay. That's gonna come in a 100 micron, 40 micron, and 10 micron filtration level. So different applications require different filtration. Pre-pump, we might recommend a 100 micron filter, whereas for a typical carbureted car or street car, 40 micron will do the job. And then if you're doing like a, a EFI conversion, mm -hmm. that's when you might want to look into the 10 micron filtration. Okay. It's one body, the body is a dash 12, and uh, the filters are completely interchangeable. Okay, and then you offer uh, AN fittings or, or adapters to go from the 12 to the more common, like six, eight, and 10, depending on the fuel system uh, line diameter and, and the, the horsepower needs of the car. Exactly, yeah. Um, Dash 12 is pretty pretty big, but Vibrant carries thousands of fittings. Do you always run a pre-filter in uh, electric pump systems? Yeah, so we pretty much always recommend running a pre-filter, okay. um, no matter the pump. And then, um, yeah, basically with modern fuel injection, uh, you know, injector orifices are getting really fine, mm -hmm. and uh, spray pattern is super important, and you don't want to clog those injectors, so that's when we highly recommend doing it like a 10 micron. Okay. Yeah. And then a lot of street applications, 40 is, is a good. And, and this housing can be used as a pre and post oh, filter. Yeah. And we even recommend doing staged fil filtration. That's also a really good option. Um, so you might actually run a 100 micron pre-pump and then post-pump you could do a 40 and a, a 10. Okay. That'll prevent your 10 from clogging up sooner, right? Kyle, I appreciate your yeah. time and learning all about Vibrant's new filter here and what various Micron filter ratings are for. Thanks for watching.